Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. Let's take a look at the Nifty. This is for January 28th, 2019. Now, I want to show you why it's a good idea to combine both price analysis and RSI analysis. So what we're going to do here, if we take the intraday closing, no, actually the hourly closing low here. In fact, I should have stressed that this is a two hourly chart. So two hourly. So if we take the two hourly closing low here, and there is a closing low somewhere there. What happens is we get this trend line somewhere around there. Now notice how it connects very nicely with the previous lows. Here, the closing low there, intraday low, intraday low, intraday low, intraday low here. And then ultimately we come and break it which leads to this slide. So at this particular point, if you go by price, price is telling you that the trend line is broken, the next swing trade is down, and yes, we get a couple of hours to the downside, but not much. Also, if we draw this a little bit different and connect the, the hourly closing lows or hourly intraday lows, like that. So what we've done here, we connected the intra-hourly close into an hourly low and the hourly low here we get this other line which is also showing a break right so if you go by price it's showing that there's a break now if you take the RSI and draw a line around the 38.2 RSI level you'll notice that it is giving you a different look in other words we can see here a nice entry of the lows here, a bounce on the line for the lows there, bounce on the line for the lows here. We can, we can say now we are trying our best to bounce on the line here. So the RSI is suggesting that this is where we might find support. While if you take a look at prices by themselves, prices are suggesting that this is a broken couple of trend lines. So using both RSI and the price behavior can give you a better look. I would say that as long as we are holding the blue line on the RSI, chances are this is still a very stable and generally upward trending market. Otherwise, a break of the blue line following the break here of the RSI trend line, price trend line, and this break here of the price trend line would be a big deal. So the break of the blue line here would be the sell signal I would personally be looking for. Otherwise, the RSI is suggesting, unlike price, that the RSI is still stable. So sometimes using both price and RSI is probably the best way to go instead of using one and ignoring the other. Eric Mwadith, mother.com, has always good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.